So coffee cups haven't changed since their creation. Sure, some have handles while others do not. Some have an artsy design while others are more conservative. At the end of the day, it is only a cup and is a vehicle to deliver your favorite drink in. So why reinvent the wheel when everything rolls just fine? Well, one reason is, is that every single cup right here and every other cup ever made they all have one backbreaking flaw, and that is they're all susceptible to heat loss. Whether it is via conduction or convection, the loss of heat is inevitable, and there's no way around it. Sure, you can pour your favorite drink into a paper cup or a tumbler and slap a lid on it, and that is a great way to minimize heat loss. But that is all they are doing, minimizing the issue. Enter Ember's Temperature Controlled Ceramic Mug. Emperor is proposing with this cup and its built-in technology that heat loss will be an issue no more and a thing of the past and that you can drink your coffee, tea, or whatever you fancy at the exact temperature you want for as long as you want. Will Amber uphold this grand proposal or will it fall prey to the nature of science? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, Devin from Decon here, and today I'm looking at something that's pretty damn cool. This is Ember's Temperature Controlled Ceramic Mug, aka the Smart Cup. And I must say, this cup is extremely impressive and has quickly become one of my favorite devices. This cup accommodates 10 ounces and weighs just under a pound. It is also IPX7 rated, which means it can be fully submerged under water. This is a great thing. Obviously you need to wash this cup without damaging the internal components. And this is a hand wash only, so don't go throwing this in your microwave or your dishwasher, otherwise you're going to destroy the cup. <laughs> this cup is very minimalistic and conservative, almost to a fault. It's not a bad looking cup by any means, but for me, it's just a little bland. If it wasn't for the LED indicator near the bottom, you would mistake this for a basic ceramic cup. I'm hoping in the future that Ember allows you to customize this cup with a preferred color and maybe a different handle to make it your own. As of now, the only color option is this plain ceramic white. Overall, the mug has a nice feel and it seems fairly resistant to staining. Located on the bottom, two small gold rings allow the cup to charge inductively via this ceramic coaster. Alright, now let's talk tech. The term feat of engineering gets thrown around quite a bit to the point it's become cliche to say it, but damn it, I'm gonna say it anyway. This cup is a feat of engineering. The cup is essentially separated into two compartments. The top compartment is your traditional cup space where you pour your drink into. The inner walls are insulated with a space grade thermal lining and is also where Ember's phase change cooling system is located. This cooling system is controlled by a microprocessor, which Ember coins as their microprocessor controlled heating system. This microprocessor is located in this very small lower compartment here. The microprocessor, the phase change cooling system, and a network of other sensors work together to allow your drink to maintain a specific temperature. Also found in this lower compartment is the built-in battery as well as a Bluetooth module. The battery is actually quite poor and during my testing only lasted around 30 minutes. To make matters worse, the recharge time is around 2 hours. Given the fast discharge of the battery and the slow recharge, it's highly recommended to keep the cup on the charging coaster at all times. That way, your drink maintains that specific temperature that you desire. The Bluetooth module allows you to control the temperature via the Ember application. The application is very intuitive, and the actual initial setup of the cup is so simple and straightforward a child could do it. How even Donald Trump could do it. 
Let's dig further into the application and everything it has to offer. The main home screen is where you control the temperature. You can either use the rotary dial at the bottom of the screen or select a designated preset. Ember's application allows for nine presets to be created, all of which can be set at a temperature between 120 to 145 degrees Fahrenheit and can be renamed to whatever you please. You can even use emojis when naming your favorite drink. Under settings, you can personalize the color of the LED, adjust the units of temperature to Fahrenheit or Celsius, and also adjust the brightness of the LED if desired. So before I leave, I wanted to do a temperature test between Ember Smart Cup and your traditional, well, not so smart cup to see just what the outcome is going to be. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour coffee in each cup and I will get them to a specific temperature, probably around 140 degrees. And then I will let them sit for an hour. After which I'll come back, I'll check the temperature in, in each cup. And yeah, we'll see what happens. So it looks like Amber's holding true to their claim and that this cup allows for zero heat loss and keeps your drink at a constant temperature for the entire duration. I have to say, I absolutely love this cup, I think it's fantastic, and I highly recommend it. Let me know in the comments below, are you guys thinking of picking this cup up? Do you think it's too expensive? Do you think it's unnecessary? Let me know below, I'm curious to hear your thoughts, and well, that's going to wrap up my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. And also, if you can just take a moment and hit that subscribe button, it really does help me out a great deal and also keeps you guys informed on content in the future. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.